Hey guys, and thanks so much for joining me on my channel today. If you are new here, welcome, and if you are not, welcome back. Today's video is probably my favorite video I've ever made. This is my Christmas decor home tour video. And of course, because I'm me, I went ahead and added in a little treat for you guys. It is super easy and simple and delicious. And I think you guys are really gonna like it. And on top of all of that, I am doing a collab for this video. And it is with the lovely Kelly from Kelly's Corner. You guys know how much I absolutely love her and I love collabing in videos with her. She's also showing you her home decor decor for Christmas time so I definitely can't wait to see that also she's sharing a treat with you as well and hers looks amazing so you're definitely gonna have to go over to her channel and check that out but without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video Alright, so the first thing we're going to do in this video is make the treat that I'm going to show you guys. That way, if you're following along, you can go ahead and pop it in the freezer, and then by the time the Christmas decor tour is done, you'll have your treat to eat, and it'll be amazing. So this is super simple, only five ingredients. You got peanut butter, uh, one cup peanut butter, one bag of chocolate chips, one bag of butterscotch chips, and a cup of M&M's. So I'm just going to go ahead and combine the chocolate and the butterscotch and the peanut butter in a big glass bowl. It's got to be big enough for you to fit your marshmallows in afterwards. So I'm going to go ahead and combine all of that and I'm going to microwave it in like 15 to 20 second intervals until it's completely melted. In case you're wondering what I'm watching in the background, it's a Hallmark Christmas movie. <laughs> Yes, I'm one of those people, and I'm not sorry about it. Okay, so now that that is all melted, you're just going to go ahead and stir in the entire 10.5 ounce package of mini marshmallows, making sure to coat all of them pretty thoroughly as much as you can. For me, there was more than enough, but if you have to add a little more melted chocolate, you can also do that. Um, just not too hot on the chocolate. I let this sit for like a couple of seconds and stirred it so that it wouldn't melt the marshmallows because the marshmallows will melt if it's too hot. So this was supposed to be, I guess, kind of, they were called marshmallow dream bars, but I thought it would be fun to put them in little cupcake molds. I sprayed them first, of course. So I just did it that way, but you can do it whatever way you want. It's probably easier to just put them in the bottom of a pan, but I just thought these would be cute. So that's what I did. So once you've got everything, um, in my case, in the little muffin tins or like your case if you want to make them bars, once you've got that all laid out, just go ahead and add on your M&Ms and just, I just sprinkled them on as much as I could. The one cup was more than enough for me. I was able to get M&Ms all over there. I was going to do sprinkles too, but I was like, meh, I'll just do the M&Ms, but you can totally do sprinkles, like some festive holiday sprinkles or whatever. That would be fun too. I think you can actually like adapt these for any holiday if you like put different holiday sprinkles on them. So just a thought on that as well. <laughs> So they already look amazing and I want to eat one right now, but I have to put them in the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes just so they can kind of harden up and uh, solidify a little bit and then we will be ready to eat them. So first we're going to start out with my largest tree. Um, I made this a Grinch tree this year. I have a lot of Grinch stuff and I wanted to kind of do a theme. Everything on this tree is from Hobby Lobby, except for the lights. I think those are from... Um, Walmart but yeah everything here all the bulbs and the little sign and the star are all from Hobby Lobby this little Santa clothesline is from Michael's and the fa la 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 sign is from Joanne's and this is on my entertainment center now I'm going up to the side here so the snowflake is from Joanne's the tree and the Grinch like I said everything Grinch here is from Hobby Lobby just the snowflakes are from Joanne's but everything else here is from Hobby Lobby
so this um garland here is i made it having two garlands two different garlands they're both from hobby lobby and i just put some lights in them and i just thought that that was very like grinchy with the bright green and it really pumped up like the red and everything in there so that is what i made uh, my little grinch garland out of was just two separate garlands um, from Hobby Lobby and then I put lights in it myself. So this is my tear tray that's in my kitchen. Um, I've got three signs on here. They're all from the Dollar Tree and three Ray Dunn mugs and I just put some um, candy canes in there. Those two glass bowls are from my mom. She bought me a set and then I have a little mini tree skirt and that little sign to the right is from Hobby Lobby and then the snowflake at the top is from Joann's. I swear those snowflakes are like my favorite decor pieces. I love them. So this is my side table that I have behind the couch. The garland here is from Hobby Lobby and I just added the lights. I got the table runner from TJ Maxx and I got this um, letter board from Target. And it's because it's in my living room. I just put a little Grinchmas theme too as well. So moving on to my dining room, this was kind of half and half. This is like the only farmhouse-y type of thing I have for Christmas um, is this uh, part of my dining room. And I just did all of the black and white buffalo check I possibly could in here. And what really brings it home, I think, is that Merry Christmas sign. I got that from Walmart this year. I got the table runner off Amazon. Um, that little cloche with the trees in it, I got from uh, TJ Maxx. And then I got this seven foot pre-lit tree from Michaels. I got the bow on top from, um, I think it was Walmart. This letter board, I don't remember where I got it. I've had it forever. And then I got these little baby ornaments are from Hamrick's, which is a store I've never been to before, but I was so excited to find these. I thought they were perfect. The jug that I have for my tree skirt basically is from at home and I it's, it had a candle in it, but I just decided to put the tree in it instead. So on this tier tray, I have this little house from at home, another snowflake from Joann's. All of these little trees are from Walmart. The sign is from Hobby Lobby and the Winnie the Pooh sign is from TJ Maxx and then I have a Ray Dunn mug. I've just got a little Walmart candle burn in there. That sign is from Big Lots and then I have these little um, tree light things that I got from Hobby Lobby. Again, this little cloche is from uh, TJ Maxx. And then the sign all the way to the right is from Hobby Lobby as well. And then, and then I've had those um, candlesticks forever. I think I got them from Ross a few years ago. And I just put some trees from Walmart on top of those. So this is where you walk into my house. I have this little table here. The sign, the Merry Christmas sign is from Hobby Lobby. The Santa bowl is from Hobby Lobby. The nutcrackers were my mom's. And this amazing, beautiful Mickey wreath is from Lowe's. I just put the, um, some matching lights into a garland that I had from Hobby Lobby that's like behind all this. And that little tear trace from Target, the signs are from Walmart and Hobby Lobby and Marshalls. So this is my rainbow tree. Um, I don't have, this is the only one that's not finished. I don't have the ornaments yet. I ordered them and they still haven't come in yet. So I just have my Mickey in the red because it's like Christmas Mickey and I thought it would look pretty. And then that letter board in there is just from Joann's and it was rainbow. So I put it in the rainbow tree for now. Um, but yeah, I have a tree skirt on the bottom, but it's just a rainbow Mickey head towel um, that I made into a tree skirt. But hopefully I get those ornaments soon and I can't wait to decorate this little baby. All right, so continuing the Disney theme, um, I got my two Mickey head trees from Lowe's. The uh, top there, that is a um, garland from Hobby Lobby that I put lights into and a bow on. And then the two little pillows to the right and left are from CVS. So this train is from CVS and these two nutcrackers are from Publix. I never saw them again. I was so excited that I actually got those. They're my favorite pieces. So like I said, these are from Lowe's, these little trees. Um, I got, this is new this year from Disney.com. From the Disney store, Josh bought me that little gingerbread thing. The light up, everything that lights up is from CVS. Like the little animatronic things. 
and that most wonderful time of the year sign is from Hobby Lobby. The other two signs here are from Marshalls and the snow globe Josh bought me for Christmas so I'm not sure where that was from. And then the Funko Pops he bought me too but you can really get those anywhere. Next up is just some kitchen decor. This is what's on top of my cabinets. I'm just showing you this one side because the other side stops working. Unfortunately, I'm so sad about it. So I gotta get Josh back up there to replace the lights. Um, but then I just have this little Grinch sign keeping in with the theme of the Grinch for my living room. This is the island in my kitchen and I have another Grinch sign. Again, all my Grinch stuff is from Hobby Lobby. These two little spiky trees are from Hobby Lobby. These, um, this sign here, and the sign um, to the left that you're going to see in just a minute, that is from Michael's. And I got those uh, probably about three years ago. So everything else, though, Hobby Lobby. The table runner, I'm pretty sure, is from Marshall's or TJ Maxx. And I've had that for a while. I think I got that in, like, 2017-ish. I think I got it when I moved. Um, but, yeah, so these two tall signs are from Michael's, but everything else is from Hobby Lobby. And then so I think I skipped the two sides of uh, my little table thing that I have in my living room. So I just have, again, Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby. Um, the little trees here are also from Hobby Lobby. The candlesticks, I don't know. I think I got those from Marshalls like years ago. Um, so that's like the whole little setup that I have on that wall. Um, I just, I think I forgot to show you the other two sides of that. Um, but yeah, so that's what's over here on this side. And then the last thing, the last tree I'm going to show you guys, um, I get the jug thing again from at home. I put lights in the bottom and then I have this tree that I got from at home as well. It's called a peppermint tree, but I thought that this was like so like Grinchy, like Dr. seuss -y. So I put that in there and that is in the corner by my back door and I'll show you guys a little overview. Then the last thing I'm going to show you is my little tree forest here. It's got like all these different colored trees. I love them. And I got these from Target and World Market. And then I got these light up ones from an antique store, which is awesome. And they're just so beautiful and everything's so glittery and shiny and I just love it. All right, so now it is time to pop these out of the freezer. I actually put some plastic wrap over these. You definitely don't need to do that. I had just kept them in the freezer overnight, so I um, put the uh, plastic wrap on them so they wouldn't taste like freezer, if you know what I mean. But anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop these out and put them on the little tray. I put a little wax paper down because it is chocolate, so I don't want it to be too messy. But wait till you see how beautiful and cute these are. I love them. Are these not so sweet? Look at them. Little chocolate cupcake marshmallow things. I love them, they're so cute. Also, can we talk about how festive with the green and red M&Ms? These are definitely a home run, slam dunk, whatever you want to call it. These are so super perfect and I love them and they were so easy to make and they were so tasty. Definitely recommend you guys make these. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed all the lovely Christmas decor and happy magic we made today. I'm gonna go ahead and go over to Kelly's channel and check out her video. You guys should definitely do the same. I know she's got great stuff in store for us. If you're visiting from Kelly's channel, hi, thank you, and welcome. I hope you stick around because I've got a lot more fun Christmas stuff planned. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe for more. I hope you guys have a blessed and awesome week, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!